Everybody get in the room. Black supremacy. Well, with this particular live stream, what I want to talk about is how XXX, how his death exposes the hypocrisy within the hip-hop and rap community. And when I talk about the hip-hop and rap community, I'm talking about the bloggers, I'm talking about the vloggers, I'm talking about all the rappers and everyone who subscribed to it. Let me cover everyone. The hypocrisy in the hip-hop and rap community. Now, an example of that is according to the music that has been glamorized, it glamorizes violence. It glamorizes killing aggression, materialism. That's what the music does. That's what the bloggers and vloggers agitate and glamorize and instigate. And they make money also off of juicy gossip revolving around violence and aggression. And foolishness. And they support a subculture in America of violence and materialism. That's what they, they support. Unquestionably. They support that. Every single day. And then... You find somebody like XXX who was going into the motorcycle shop with his Louis Vuitton bag and he would have been what you call lacking. He was caught off guard. Somebody saw him as an op and they came up off of him. And that's what the culture glamorizes. That's what it supports. His gangster was tested. And he was called lacking. That should be the true narrative. That should be. That's what they glamorize. That's what they promote. That's what they make money off of. That's what they make ad sense off of. Hip hop and rap itself is an industry of death. And that is its most predominant face. Because we talk about conscious hip-hop in the 90s and when hip-hop started, that it was somewhat conscious. It's always been about materialism. But now, in 2018, we see the predominant face of this rap and this hip-hop as being gangster. As being violent. As being materialistic. As being selfish. As being self-centered. That has become the predominant face very doggy dog so XXX was capitalizing off an industry of death he came up in that industry so even though he had some positive things to say and he was a multifaceted person meaning he had a dynamic personality that there was some positive dimensions to his personality and he had some things to say and some uplifting things he wanted to do like Tupac He is a part of an industry of death. That's what hip-hop and rap is. It is an industry of death that he was eating off of. And just because rappers are not dying like flies, the people that listen to each other, I'm sorry, the people that listen to these rappers are killing each other. They're carrying out what the rappers are talking about. They're the real gangsters. They really, they willing to go out and do it. And it's being glamorized by the rappers and the vloggers and bloggers who are really fake. Because when X got murdered, they should have charged that to the game. 
They shouldn't have been trying to get people to snitch on Derrick Williams, find the murderer, get the police involved, so sorry and so disgusted that XXX was murdered. Why? You glamorize that and you make money off this beef. You make money off this negativity. That's what makes money. That's what makes AdSense on YouTube. That's what sells records. They says XXX Records sold more than they ever have before after his death. So his death was actually a very lucrative and financial move. A business move. A very lucrative business move. Him dying. Because it's an industry of death. It capitalizes on death. And the more death, mayhem, and bloodshed that happens, the better, the better business day it is. Sales go up. Everybody has something to talk about. But these people want to pretend like they're so positive and so compassion, compassionate. But they're capitalizing off an industry of death. That's how they eat. And what makes the vloggers and bloggers even more responsible and demonic is because they know better. They're somewhat conscious. They're intentionally taking on these false personas to push this negative, violent, gangster stereotype. They're glamorizing, popularizing, and making it cool and perpetuating this violence, and they know better. They know better, and just because XX died, they're not going to stop. They're waiting on the next beef, the next murder, the next, the next killing, the next person to get their chain snatched, the next person to get ran up on, like with the whole Rico Reckless situation, with somebody running up on his car at a gas station, pulling a gun out on him. Blogs go crazy. Vloggers go crazy. They want to see this action. It is an industry of death. That's killing people. So you can't be sad. I mean, it's XXX death is a part of the game. Just like Tupac's death was a part of the game. That's what it's about. Death. Killing. Violence. Materialism. Savagery. The more savage you are, the more liked you are, the more popular you are, the more money you make. It's just so happened that you will die by that savagery. You live by that code and you die by that code. And XX was more conscious of the game that he was in than most people that listen to him, most people that vlog about him. Most people that blog about him, he was more conscious because he knew he was going to die. But not die because of his speech, his political position, his political ideas, but die because he knew he is part of an industry of death. And the mere industry itself could take him out at any moment, at any point, because that's what that game is about. It's, it's, it's a tough game. It's a horrible, savage game. So his death exposes that, that hypocrisy. And you can only be a hypocrite when you know better. I even hear DJ Academics. That was so disgusting of him killing XXX and he was so upset about that. That's what you make money off of, man. That's what you promote every day. Shav Savages in Cyrac. And somebody going to get that smoke and all that violence. That's what you promote. That's what you talk about every day. That's what you agitate and instigate. Now you're pretending like you're against it. You're pretending like it's something wrong or something bad. Because it's somebody that you know or somebody you liked. Or somebody you thought that was liked by many. How about every life is valuable. 
anybody that's out there getting murdered because of this rap music. Because it's industry of death. Their life is valuable. They don't have to be a rapper or be famous for their life to be valuable. So the music is killing people. And it has created a whole new industry on Instagram, YouTube, a whole nother industry that's capitalizing now. Now you can you can buy your own, you can invest yourself. You can participate and capitalize off this industry of death now, right from the comfort of your own keyboard. From the comfort of your own iPhone, you can capitalize. Let's be honest, it's more important to make money than really put a positive message out there. Than to really be positive, you can't make any money off of that. So if you can't make any money off being positive, then you have to make money off death. Which makes you a vampire. Which makes you evil. Which makes you as evil as the Illuminati that you're talking about. Which makes you as evil as the white supremacy that you're talking about. You're all making money off of death. But when someone dies, you act oblivious. Like you didn't, you, you're not playing a role in glamorizing a deaf culture. A not a lifestyle, a deaf style. A glamorized deaf style is what you guys are promoting and propagating. And you're eating off of it. Every single day. His death exposes that. How could you feel sorry? Y'all wanted somebody to run up on Takesha 6 9 He was instigated to behave in a manner and troll in a manner that he did. Y'all want to see bloodshed and death. It's, it makes money. It's lucrative. So if you feel sorry for what happened to Takesha 6 9 I mean, to what happened to uh, XXX, I mean, you're a hypocrite. That's how it go. Dude that killed him wanted clout. He wanted money. He wanted material. It was nothing. What he wanted was consistent with why you all make people relevant. Why you bloggers and vloggers make people relevant. That's what he wanted. He wanted Instagram fame. He wanted fame. He was a XXX in the making. Maybe he would have been positive at some point and had something positive to say. But right now, he wants to get his foot in the door, get some money, get some attention, get some bread. He wasn't an evil, vicious murderer. He was a product of social media in its connection to an industry of death. He was a product of that. He wanted to just make it. He wanted to come up. He wanted to be somebody. And you all you all have defined who somebody is. Somebody is a killer. Somebody is a savage. That's what being somebody is. If you're a savage, you're a killer, you don't care about nobody. That's that's somebody. Because that was that's what you admit, that's what makes money. That's what y'all want to hear. Y'all want to hear the negative. Nobody would listen to you if you didn't have the negative stuff to say, the gossip and all that. No one would want to hear you. Don't listen to me then. If you don't want to hear me, if I don't have something negative to say, don't even, don't, don't even listen to me. I don't even want those type of ears that's going to get people murdered and killed senselessly over nothing. I don't even want that money or I don't even want that kind of attention. And that's what a lot of these bloggers and vloggers should say. They should scale down a little bit. Scale down some of their greed. And be truly positive. Because it's not funny. It's not a joke. It's not entertaining. It's evil. And it's destructive. It's destructive. And you all have glamorized it. You want the shock value. 
I just had to touch on that. I had to. I'm going to open the form up. If anybody want to type any questions, go ahead. Or any comments. But I have to say that. His death exposes. Hip-hop is an industry of death, but it exposes. But that's not even an ex- expose. Expose how fake people are that they won't acknowledge that that's what they're in. They're in an industry of death. They think they're doing something positive and, oh, I can't believe that happened. But you're making money off death. That's what you're doing in hip-hop and rap. You are um, not just instigating, but cheerleading. Savagery, y'all savage cheerleaders and hype men, and that's how you get your views, and that's how you get your money. So don't don't be surprised when somebody die and get murked. Why don't you glamorize that too? He got caught lacking. He he was an op. Somebody handled that business and came up. That's how the game go. Don't all call the police. And I think they found the killer. And can somebody find the killer? And this dude killed him, and this dude is evil, this dude is vicious. You are more vicious than that dude that killed XXX. You know why the bloggers and vloggers are more vicious? Because he was under the mind control of mass media. Because they made materialism so valuable, and, and fame, internet fame, and cloud, and that's how you become somebody. So he was very serious in that state of mind control. But you all know better. You know that you are falsely glamorizing a deaf culture. You know you don't believe that stuff. You would not go out and kill nobody. You're not going to catch nobody lacking. You're not looking for no ops. You know that. You know that's wrong. You know that's black on black self hate. You know that. And you still talk about it. You still glamorize it. You still eat off of it. So you're actually worse than him. He really wanted to come up in the only way he thought that he could. Derek Williams. You all presented that to him and glamorized what he did. He fell victim to the promotion of an ind- from an industry of death. You all promoted it. You all glamorized it. Yeah, DJ Academics and the rest of you all. You all glamorized this lifestyle, death style. Knowing better. Somewhat intelligent, conscious, but just want to eat. The difference between you and him, some of you vloggers and bloggers and Derek Williams, is that he killed one person. But through y'all mass propagation of a deaf culture, y'all got thousands of bodies on y'all. That you will never be held responsible or accountable for. Of all the people you all incited. You incited violence. Glamorized violence. Y'all got way more bodies than Derek Williams. Matter of fact, y'all got two bodies. Because Derek Williams is going to jail for life. And X is dead. So that's two bodies. That y'all got. He got one body. Y'all automatically got two bodies right there. Two bodies trying to be somebody in a savage materialistic death culture that you all call rap and hip hop. That's what it has come to. And none of you all are really, at the end, you all sound like Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. Oh, that's so bad. You know, keep hope alive. That shouldn't have happened. That ain't the message you're putting out every day. Y'all are cheerleaders for death in the black community. Cheerleaders for violence. 
It's the kingdom of black supremacy. Signing out.